ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் த்ரூ திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ லைக் டு ஷேர் வித் யூ ஆல் பர்டிகுலர்லி த ஆஸ்பிரண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஐஆர்எம்எஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் தட் திஸ் இயர் ஐ மீன் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ தேர் வில் நாட் பி த ஐஆர்எம்எஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் பட் த ரிக்ரூட்மெண்ட் டு த ஐஆர்எம்எஸ் சர்வீஸ் will be done through the UPSC civil service examination this year. Let me go in detail. You all might be knowing a couple of months back in the December 1st week 2022, the Ministry of Railways in consultation with the UPSC and the DOPT made an announcement that the recruitment to the IRMS service would be done based on a specially designed examination called IRMS examination that would be conducted from 2023 what was said by the UPSC. In fact, uh, the pattern of the IRMS examination also specified consisting of the stage 1 preliminary screening examination and the stage 2 the mains examination followed by the interview. You might be knowing the preliminary exam is common for civil service as well as IRMS examination. But in the IRMS mains examination, the candidates have to choose one of the optional among the four optionals given. You might be knowing the four optionals. Let me recall. One of the optional was civil engineering. Second one, mechanical engineering. Third one, electrical and electronics engineering combinedly. And fourth one is commerce and accountancy optional subjects. So, the, if you want to get into this IRMS, you have to choose one of these four optional in the IRMS mains examination. It was also specified that UPSC would release a notification for the IRMS examination simultaneously, simultaneously with the UPSC civil services examination. So, this was the press information released by the Ministry of Railways two months back. Unfortunately, it did not happen. Two days back on February 1st, UPSC released notification for the civil service examination as well as the Indian Forest Service examination. There was no notification for the IRMS examination this year. Moreover, if you see the notification of the civil service examination along with the other services like IAS, IPS, IRS, etc., the IRMS also including the list of the different services. It means the eligibility for the IRMS service this year is the same as that for the other services, what you have in the list of the services in the UPSC services notification. 2nd of February 2023, the Ministry of Railways in consultation with the UPSC and DOPT made a, a fresh announcement that this year 2023 the recruitment to the IRMS will be done through the UPSC civil services exam only. It means there will not be the IRMS examination this year. The earlier proposed IRMS examination is dropped for this year 2023. The recruitment to the IRMS service will be made through the UPSC civil service exam only. All these developments cause a lot of discouragement, disappointment among the serious aspirants of the IRMSC. But it is not in our control. Do not think unnecessarily about the things which are not in our control. And one question students often asking us nowadays is the 
UPSC solicit notification has in the list of the preferences in the services, one of the services IRMS. The doubt of the students is, this IRMS service this year, does it have technical nature of jobs, otherwise non-technical nature of jobs? What I would like to say, since the eligibility is the same for all the services, mostly the IRMS service this year may be non-technical, otherwise admission type only. Anyway, this is my perception. I may be wrong also. And another doubt that is asked by the student is, IRMS, the proposed IRMS examination was dropped this year. What about next year? Nothing is known. So, nowhere mentioned clearly about this. Next year, whether you have IRMS examination or not, nothing is known. We have to wait and see for the official information from the official sources. Anyway, nothing, nothing to worry about all this. It's a very unfortunate thing. And this should not have happened. Whatever happens, happens for the good. Please continue your preparation further. You have equally another good service that is engineering service examination. Definitely, if you conduct preparation, you may be able to crack the ESC. You may get into some good service. I wish you all good luck.